Hello, this is Wayne from GSG coming to you loud and proud from Houston, Texas. We are on Breakdown Badasses episode number 27. And we are currently logged into one of our new badass members, Hannah Asby. Um, she's a gossiper, was big into TV shows. She's a Trumbull local, so she knows the place like the back of her hand. She was a hairstylist. Most importantly, she has fast hands, which... Uh, Helps her improve in fighting quick. And we have no freaking influence. I was going to actually set up combat training. Which we will make certain that that happens. Because while we are waiting, I will go ahead and pop that weapon. Because that Cleo weapon is a weapon I will keep anyway. While we are waiting on Abigail's missing person mission to ping, we are going to go ahead and start training up Hannah. I was possibly going to play Heather in this episode, but she is actually at least has uh, max fighting. Uh, she needs work in every other aspect, but she's at least maxed in fighting. So we will play her in a future episode. We do have our... Uh, meal cooked so we got our max vitality and stamina bonus going and uh, Hannah needs some work on a little bit of everything I knew that wasn't going to work and I already have oh double ferals Well, our combat training started. Hopefully that takes care of them ferals. Looks like it did. I don't see them wiggling anymore. But I already have several blunt weapon women in my camp. Several blade weapon women in my camp. And since Hannah here is going to level up fairly quickly... And the beating things down, uh, this axe, to the best of my knowledge, is the lightest heavy weapon. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and make her a heavy weapons expert. And we also kitted her out with this little 9mm SMG, um, which you can generally find... I want to say every time I found this weapon it's always been in the courthouse um, I may have found it somewhere else but I want to say every time I find that weapon uh, especially with all of my non powerhouse people I actually kind of pay attention to the weight of the weapons and what is their uh ammo capacity which down here in the bottom right is probably hidden by my GSG logo but the weapon holds 30 rounds which is pretty good we went ahead and put our machine suppressor on it so we have a few extra bullets with this which would have been more than 30 round capacity we also kitted her up with snacks so she can run around here and uh, get her cardio up. And I know the common practice is to run around within your safe zone to level up a character. But I have honestly found that it is easiest to me to come out here in these fields and level up your character. And the reason for that is, and this field right here, the particular one I'm in, the hordes generally only come from this area way back here, and they generally come up this fence line to this farmhouse, or they come straight down this road 
in this direction over here to the farmhouse. So if you are out here in this field, you generally don't have to worry about running upon a horde. Which, if you're in the Spencer's Mill or the town of Marshall, um, you can have a horde pretty much anywhere. Now, granted, if you have your trap set up in your safe zone, trying to hit this bloater way over there, but I'm missing him. Might be Somebody's broad something. just out of my weapon you range. You could use some help. Sounds like they're in a bad spot. I want to offer them a hand. We also have a feral over there, which is awesome. Already level four in fighting, so we're going to go ahead and get our heavy weapons set up. And someone has an infestation they want to clear, which subsequently happens to be right here where we're at. So we'll just continue working on our cardio. So we have more available snacks or the potential to have snacks from this orchard so I don't mind burning off a few so we can always replenish them but out here in this field um, of course if I'm paying attention I'm a little less likely to get blindsided by a feral than I am if I'm running around in martial jumping fences or doing other things I have actually jumped a fence <coughs> right on to a feral before and that's enough to get your blood pressure up for certain okay now I thought I clicked on this mission she must be behind the barn or I say she I do have a few guys in my camp and if I ever play them just to help with my fame a little bit I only ever play them off camera but most of the time Oh, come on. You have to be fighting a juggernaut, and it happens to be Becca. Come on, get off my girl. That's it, I'm out. Crap. This is not a good scenario, fat boy. I'm an untrained warrior, but you're dead. Damn, Becca, what you out here getting yourself in trouble for? I'm headed out. Okay, watch yourself out there. I think we should get moving. Lead now, on. this damn Let's mission move. said an infestation. That's what Lily said. But, oh well, we'll kill Army's Edge ahead. just as well. Damn, we almost walked right up on Well, I say almost. We did walk right up on him. All right, we're going to eat us another snack. Well, Becca, I'm glad uh, you didn't get killed by the juggernaut. Because we were unsuccessful in the previous mission of not getting somebody injured. But maybe this time we can... Uh, now we're making progress. What do you mean we're making progress? We just Watch killed the, the army's head. That's what you wanted to do, isn't it? Kill a freaking army's head? Look, here's army's head. <coughs> But I didn't get the mission that I found you. Don't let it get up. Awesome. That sounds like some I got nothing left. Awesome celery breaking. Alright. See us a cupcake. Break it! Got him! I'd like to see more of that. Thanks for coming to get me. No I'm problem, girl. Me. Take care. Let's take a jog home. I'm working on my cardio. Come on, I'm trying to kill you. I will at least run until I get to this orchard with you. Loot this beehive. And we 
keep an eye on Becca. It looks like she's got it under control so far. We'll try not to linger around her too long. Have you thought about us joining up with you? Yeah, we thought about it. Yeah, wow. But it ain't gonna happen. Awesome. Ooh, we got a feral that way. We got no bullets left. And we got one petro bomb. Not sure how much longer I can hang on. Damn it, I should have ran the other way, Becca. Let's do this. We got to do it. We need to, uh, need to snack. Come on, Becca. I don't want to screw up and get you killed. Nice to have spin about now. I'm trying, girl. Damn, I got my freaking heavy weapons. But... Come on, Becca. There's only a few left. We need a snack. Did I eat my snack? Hell yeah, appreciate the help there, Becca. Sorry I got you into trouble. We're going to go ahead and get our spin, so uh, that will definitely help the next time I'm in a pickle like that. And hopefully she's uh, not damaged from all that. Just looks like she's tired, which is usual after you do a mission with a camp member. So cool, Becca, our uh, last surviving uh, three-star tattoo artist <laughs> has survived. So Hannah did a good job not getting you killed. And I'm starting to slightly get concerned about Abigail's mission. It's kind of strange I had her missing person mission before I had a missing, before Gracie ever went missing. It'd be nice to have that mission ping. We'll go ahead and throw us some cupcakes in the oven. Guess we'll let's see what else do we have close by we haven't looted we got something out in this field that road's usually a little more dangerous but she at least has spin now let's see what we got our cardio up to um, two almost three so we will still, just in the event we find something over here, we'll take our pretty much only working vehicle. That's probably a good thing we did. Because that dude might have munched on us. right here. There's another feral. Come on, buddy. Getting dizzy yet? There ain't nothing right here and I already looted this already looted that backpack. I don't know what else is out in this field. Oh. Um, 
How much fuel do we have at camp? We'll go ahead and take it. Or we'll take it after we kill these Zeros. For once, I actually hit something. And now we'll grab this fuel. Looted this area earlier and just left this here. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. We'll see you soon. Come on, girl. It's just a bale of hay. All right, what else we got in this area? Got us some construction supplies over there. I do remember hitting that area and we uh, caused a big noise over there and ran for our lives. So we do know that that is over there. We're gonna come over here to this scary abandoned building and there's probably some construction materials in there as well along with uh, who knows how many zeds but we'll scout the area for some ferals I don't see any so we will eat a snack kill some zeds Come out of the woodworks now. That's what I'm looking for. That was a swing and a miss. I can use some food. Eat your cupcake, girl. I don't care what med it is this time. Swing and a miss. Try it again. That was a little better. Alright, and is that our Abigail mission? Wrong button. That just pinged. No, damn it. Starting to get worried about Abigail. Grant's in trouble. We will uh, go save him as well. Right now, I want these materials in here. And we're still working on leveling our girl up, so... Alright, now this area may actually be cleared. Try to quietly search this. Sit tight. And that I'm bringing this stuff home. Crack pipe isn't Not much, but uh, we'll give it to Sasquatch and his group of boys anyway. Damn it. Take this off of my back. Y'all making me tired. I only got one snack left, so... Uh, off my back, fool. I could use some food. I'm sure you could, but... Unless there's some upstairs, I'm saving your last snack. I will take your last med, though. Might get lucky and find us some food in this ice chest. And if we do, we'll go ahead and break it down. So now you have a few more snacks to go on. All 
All right, well, Hannah, at least in her fighting-wise, is uh, leveling up fairly nicely. And nice. don't need that backpack. But maybe Sasquatch and his boys do. It's going to be kind of hard in this light to you kill. You going to keep us waiting out here till we get killed or what? Yeah, they might. Sasquatch, we might. Ah, uh, yeah, it's green. Them boys like green. They can have that green backpack. We will get rid of it, and since it's quiet right here, we're going to go ahead and search this too. And then we will go work on assisting our member that needs a little help. Confirm. Where's that free here? that little fair flare just so I could hopefully make some kind of getaway from that voice. Come on, cars, start rolling. Want my doors. Alright, we got us a nice sun coming up over here in the east. And our guy happens to be over here in this field. I'll check this out next. Uh, that's kind of sort of on our way home. home. We'll come lend him a helping hand, and then that's going to pretty much be it for this episode with Hannah. And if we can make, make it through the next few minutes. Well, we just won't say it until the end of the episode. How just about that? I hate to ask, but... Help! How's that for you, Grant? Isn't that your name? Yeah, Grant, what's up, buddy? I've already saved you. You, you just want to hang around out here? We got Zeds at 9 o'clock. Well, we wouldn't have Zeds at 9 o'clock if you would just come get in the car. <laughs> Big dude needing us little skinny, badass woman to save you. That's the last of them. All right, so no smart ass comments. Rumor missing person, we could check it out. Where are you at? Some of our neighbors are in trouble. I don't think they're going to make it. Okay, well, even if this pushes. I'm on the move. You're going to burn yourself out if you don't, don't... come home and rest a little. I have one med and a few snacks, and it's close by. We just gonna do it because we want Abigail back home safely. So let's do this, Hannah. Let's do this without any injuries. Ooh, let's watch these rocks right here. Hopefully, can we get lucky and she be in this one building? Damn, I headshotted that bloater from this, this far away. Come on, y'all gonna hold off in the distance. Hello? Nope. Time to move on. Couldn't get lucky in her be in this building. All right, so where else is it? I got pointless? nothing left. Down by the lake, I believe there's a little shack down there. 
and I will remember that uh, there's a cliff right there and actually knew the proper way to get down here. Cletus's hangout. I need a breather. You need to eat you a cupcake is what you need. Come on, turtle head. I don't want to break my axe on your head. She is not in here. Better look around some more. Fully explore the Consider location. Okay, I finally got an update on that. Could have done without the picky. Oh, I actually. Damn it, there it went. Abigail, I actually see you, uh. Crouch down so. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Keep fighting! Ooh, I think, uh, do I still have a weapon in here? Hell yeah, we got lucky with that. Oh god, I don't want to die here! I don't want you to die here don't either. Don't worry about me! Help the others! <laughs> Don't worry about me. Help the others. What the hell is in here? Not on you. Don't worry about me. Help the others. Where the hell is it even at? I can't see in these damn bushes. Help the others. Don't worry about me. Help the others. Well, get your ass out of the Don't damn bush so I can help you. Others. Don't worry about me. Help the others. Nope. That wasn't the last one. Don't worry about me. Help the others. Get your ass out of this freaking bush so help I can freaking help. Not that one. <laughs> nice. Come on, Abigail. You You're a badass. Don't be a freaking crybaby. All right. Well, that's awesome. I uh, was kind of worried about Abigail. And, uh, our health is kind of low, but I do not have another med on me. And we're going to kind of take the long circle route back to the camp. Hopefully let, uh, Abigail safely get home. I was kind of worried about her, but her mission finally pinged, which is awesome. So we have rescued her and... Everyone is back at the camp, and holy smokes, we finally made it through episode 27 without getting injured. Home. Got anything good? Even if our car is now smoking, there. we can live there with that. Go. Don't say I never gave you anything. Instead of ourselves what being injured. Oh, you know, stuff. All right, I will. Um, come in here and get me a med and then I will end this episode and run down there and sell this stuff to Sasquatch and his gang and then we will uh, we are at 48 construction materials which is almost enough to move into Snyder's and we should have uh, six of them or so in here. Uh, no, looks like the simulation might have ate a couple. Or they're stacked on top of each other, I'm not sure. But either way, we have enough to kind of get started. Even though I kind of have uh, already hit some of the Snyder's. Uh, 
prime locations for construction really materials. I believe we can get fully set up over I there. Got nothing left. And at least get us uh, extra four, maybe five episodes with this group of women because we actually got a really good group. And uh, we're, of course, going to keep uh, any of our founding members, Ellie, uh, Adeline, Abigail, they're definitely shoe-ins, but Gracie. So we have two available slots left we could put on the RV and... Uh, we might just hang out here with the group of girls we have as long as we have supplies to survive. But Hannah, you did us a pretty good job. You were pretty useful around the camp. Uh, we almost got you up to Cardio 3. Um, your shooting is almost a 2. We didn't do a whole lot of shooting, but most importantly, your heavy weapons and your... Uh, Heavy weapons in your fighting are maxed out, which is good. And you will be a useful member around the camp, so it was awesome. We finally did an episode without getting somebody hurt. Uh, thank you guys all for watching, and we will see you soon.